Okay, so uh, welcome back. Um, Try to change this to full screen mode. Page display. Zoom. Bit white, bit height, actual size. Tools show height. Display team, display size, full screen mode. All right. Yeah, can I? Okay, so uh, I'm going to go full screen mode, so it's like one shot. Okay, so uh, here you are looking at the mind map for the uh, aromatic compounder, and uh, there are basically five basic reactions of the hello, uh, uh, this compound. So most of these compounds are uh, electrophilic aromatic uh, substitution reactions, are, and the mechanism in here, uh, you should be able to uh, try your best to remember as much as you can, okay? Okay, so uh, with that realization, shall we begin? Okay, so uh, we start from the, uh, this one, ah, uh, cycloalkane, okay, cycloalkane, okay. For benzene to become cycloalkane, you have to have hydrogen in nickel, you must have high temperature, high pressure. Uh, you have to write both of them. Ah. But STPM uh, usually uh, will give you the right condition. If only high temperature, no high pressure, you still cannot convert uh, benzene to become cycloalkane, uh, cannot, uh, must be both here, temperature, pressure must be high, so that you can become cycloalkane, okay, so this is a uh, very simple things, uh, huh? okay, then uh, we go down, we go to halo benzene, so halo benzene, so it can be a Cl2 in AlCl3, or if you ben uh, bromine is Br2 in FeBr3, Okay, uh, seldom uh, teacher is there such thing as ALBR3? There is, but seldom we use that. Lah. Usually in bromine, we use FEBR3. Lah. Okay, uh, but CL can be FECL3. Uh. There's one year that asks uh, about that. Uh. Okay, okay, so uh, the, now this one, the mechanism, try your best to remember. Uh, in the second set of the trial examination, I also already said that. So I hope that you have already tried the second set that I said for my school's one. Uh. So uh, 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 please do, uh, please do, okay? Okay, uh, that is for how do you convert benzene to become halo benzene. And then uh, phenol, we hang on for a while. What about toluene to become uh, benzene to become toluene? So it is CH3Cl in AlCl3. Uh, by the way, uh, Cl2 in the Cl3, no need reflux. Uh, Pl2 in FeBl3, it reflux. Huh? That is according to the international reference books. Ah. But teacher, what happened if I also add reflux? Uh, it doesn't matter. If you accidentally add reflux, it's also okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Then benzene to become acetophenone or phenyl ethanol, uh, phenyl ethanone. Okay. Acetophenone or phenyl ethanone. So you have to use CH3COCl in AlCl3 under reflux okay ch3 cocl in lcl3 under reflux so acyl chloride also can react with benzene so this one please please remember the, some students are not some students most of the student you remember you remember the behind part you forgot the in front part so this one you have to constantly do your revisions huh? okay okay so uh, this is it okay then uh, you have how benzene become nitro benzene benzene become nitro benzene so you must right both are uh, concentrated HNO3 in concentrated H2SO4 under reflux so both concentrated words must be inside there okay okay and last but not least benzene sulfonic acid uh, you use fuming sulfuric acid so fuming sulfuric acid is made of SO3 in the concentrated H2SO4 under reflux okay 
So you form this uh, benzene sulfonic acid. So these are the, the one in the red marker in here are the five most basic reactions involving the uh, aromatic compounds. Uh. All of them are electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions in here. Okay. Okay. So this is for uh, this one. Uh. Okay. Then we go slightly other reactions. The slightly other reaction we are talking about is how benzene become phenol. Now there are three ways uh, of how to become phenol. Uh, one of them is uh, this one. Uh, benzene specifically to phenol. Okay. Then you have three steps. One is you add CH3, CH, double bond CH2. Uh, uh, this uh, propene uh, in uh, H3PO4, 170 degrees Celsius and 60 atmosphere. I almost forgotten if it is 60 atmosphere or not. I think I think I'm, I'm right. Uh, 170 or 300? 170. Uh, okay. okay, so you form cumin. Then after you form cumin, you react with oxygen to form cumin peroxide. And then last but not least, you add with dilute sulfuric acid for hydrolysis. Okay? For hydrolysis reaction, so that you form phenol. Okay? And this reaction of the phenol form also propanone, uh, CH3COCH3. Uh. Okay, so I write out the side product in the same color, lah, so you won't be confused. Okay, okay, and then for halobenzene to become phenol, so you have to use uh, 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 this uh, NaOH or KOH. Uh, NaOH or KOH first are uh, under high temperature, high pressure also. Okay, sodium hydroxide, high temperature, high pressure. You don't directly form phenol. Uh. You first form phenoxide and then you add acidic reaction to form back the phenols in here. So I write as one and two uh, so that you will remember the steps in here. Uh. Okay. Okay, and then the third one when we discuss the benzene diazonium chloride, uh, uh, I will remind you again. Okay, okay. Now once you form phenol, once you form phenol, phenol can have three different reactions in uh two three different reactions in here. So if you add with bromine water Br two in aqueous, okay, so you form two four six tribromophenol, which is a white precipitate. If you add if a FeCl three. Okay, so you form a iron two phenol three phenoxide is which is a purple a purple purple solution uh, purple solution, and then a phenol react with benzoyl chloride under alkaline condition in reflux. So you form phenyl benzoate. Okay, so uh, these are very very basic reactions of the phenol. Try your best to remember, uh, please. Uh, okay, okay, then uh that is for uh. This one, uh. then we go from acetophenone or toluene. Okay, so both of them you still add the same reagent, which is KMnO4 slash H plus under reflux. Here also the same KMnO4 slash H plus. Okay, under reflux. Okay, ah, by the way, you have this one toluene. Uh, toluene is auto para director. Halo benzene also auto para director. SO3 is a meta director. NO2 is meta director. COCH3 is also a meta director. Eh? So if you have want to synthesize a dye substitute, uh, also try your best not to forget that. Eh? OH is a auto para also. Lah. Auto para director. Eh? Okay. Mm. So the rest shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, benzoic acid is auto uh, is a meta director. Eh? Okay. Okay. So back to our this one. So now you form benzoic acid. So benzoic acid, if you want to form a uh, benzamide, you must go through benzoyl chloride. So similarly, when COH you want to form this one, uh, you have to use uh, this uh, PCl5 uh, or SOCl2. Okay, so you form the uh, benzoyl chloride, and then benzoyl chloride, if you want to form benzamide, is of course you use ammonia under reflux. Uh. Okay, so uh, these are uh, teacher can benzoyl acid become straight away benzamide. So I don't encourage uh, you better use benzoyl correct. Okay, you better use benzoyl correct. Okay, okay, so this is for 
uh, benzoic acid, anything else already. Uh, and of course, because you are carboxylic acid, ma, so when you are carboxylic acid, you can behave everything about carboxylic acid. You can react sodium, sodium hydroxide, sodium uh, carbonate. And then, uh, uh, by the way, phenol can also react with sodium hydroxide. Huh? Uh, and then, to, uh, this uh, you can also reduce to become CH2OH. And then you can react with alcohol. Uh, no, no, no. Ester, ester. You can still form ester if it is uh, alkyl alcohol. Uh, can, can. Uh, and then the amide. No, not for amide. Amide, you have to use uh, SU chloride. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is for the benzoic acid. Uh. Okay. Then we go to the next one, which is from the NO2, uh, nitrobenzene. So for nitrobenzene, uh, how are you going to react to form this one? So concentrated nitro acid and concentrated sulfuric acid, you form nitrobenzene. So nitrobenzene, when you add SN in HCl, SN in HCl, so you form aniline. So aniline is an auto para director. Ah. And when you become auto para director, you add bromine water. So you also become 246 tri tri nitro aniline, which is also a white precipitate. Okay, and then this one, if you add this uh, NaNO2 in HCl, uh, 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, so you form benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, so this benzene diazonium chloride is very stable. Uh, and please stress on the positive negative in here. Uh, positive negative must be stressed in here. So positive is located at the nitrogen with four covalent bond. Okay. Okay. Then if you add water under reflux, you form phenol. And then uh, this uh, benzene diazonium chloride, we act with phenol uh, in the alkaline condition. Uh, alkaline condition, also 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. So you form azole, uh, the azole dye, uh, the azole dye in here. Okay, so everything in here, if you want to form this uh, azo, you want to form this benzene diazonium chloride, all of them must be in cold condition. Uh, okay, Okay, and last but not least, for phenol, if you want to form cyclohexanol, so phenol or cyclohexanol, you use uh, this uh, hydrogenation, hydrogenation, uh, hydrogen in nickel, high temperature, high pressure. Uh. So basically, uh, this is the same with the how benzene becomes a cyclohexane, uh, high temperature, high pressure. Uh. So you form cyclohexanol. So cyclohexanol, you react with concentrated nitric acid, HNO3, under reflux. Okay, you form hexane dioic acid. Hexane dioic acid, then you react with the uh, this uh, diamine, uh, uh, NH2, CH2, CH2, CH2. CH2 CH2, CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, CH2, NH2, hexane 1, 6 diamine to form this uh, nylon 6, 6. Uh, okay. Um, so, I guess uh, that is all for the things that you need to know for the aromatic compounds. Okay. I also print screen already. Okay, so any questions that you want to ask for aromatic compounds in here or not? Okay, so I hope that uh, my short explanation on how to fill in the mind map, uh, you will be able to understand better. And uh, after this, uh, I, I, I'm still thinking of whether to do the technique manjawa like the for the second trial examination next week la, uh, uh, to do the to for, for those students la. okay I, I try my best to help all of you la, as much as i can so uh i guess that is all for our lesson tonight uh, i don't want to drag your time for too long because i know that you are still doing your revisions for your upcoming sem3 uh, about the changes of date i don't know what is going on in here so i cannot say it for sure all i can wish you is all the best uh, thank you very much for supporting me throughout this uh, two semester uh, from semester two to semester three some of you are even supporting me on semester one also i really really appreciate very very much and i do hope that all my lessons have helped you so far and um, uh, in the future uh, ah, later uh, if you all get your same two same three results sorry same three results can you please share with me and uh, i will later post uh, this uh, google form uh, you can can you help me to like, like money lie la. Uh, I, I need some 
I, I need some comments whether my teaching is you can understand or not what is my weaknesses please let me know because this is you are the, my first batch you are my first batch of online student I never do online uh, teaching unless for school school is another different story uh, but for tuition uh, so I hope that I can uh, do better for your upcoming juniors and all this and that and then is it really uh, is it really okay or not if I continue to do this? Because tuition center, I can only go to... Because last time in Johor Bahru, we have Omega Tuition Center. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> uh, stop recording.